Hello world, Stephen Michael Zach here, and today I have this thing in my hand. Now this is a yoke mount for the Amaran P60C and P60X. It is by Pro-Am, and this will cost you about 60 bucks plus tax. And I did buy this with my own money, so these are gonna be my own brutal and honest opinions as always. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box. My own brutal and honest opinions as always. This is new to me. Now inside the box, it is very, very, very simple. You're gonna get your instructions and everything that you need here. Now I'm going to go ahead and take down the Amaran P60Cs that I have in the back. I did buy two of these, um, but I will just show you right here. You get the, this larger knob is for the, um, is for the X, which I don't have because the X is smaller, and the one up here is for the C. Um, so we're gonna be installing that today. Uh, build quality is pretty good. Uh, it is nice and bolted on. Uh, you can unbolt this and tighten it and stuff. I wouldn't recommend it, uh, but there you go. And just have a, for some reason, it looks like it has like two quarter 20s here and here. Not sure what that's for. Uh, and it has variable mounting holes, so I guess the idea was maybe this was made for just the Amaran, uh, not just for the Amaran, but for other things. But uh, anyway, you've got a lot of mounting hole options here and made of metal, feels pretty good. Uh, you've got a nice plastic, cheap plastic knob here. Uh, should be good for uh, anything. I actually, I think these holes are probably for safety cables. Um, that would be my guess where all these extra holes are. And there's some extra mounted, quarter 20 mounting holes on the side here too. So let's go ahead and let's set this thing up. So here is what we're dealing with. This is the old mount right here. Uh, that is the aperture mount. And I really do not like this mount. It is very difficult to deal with, especially when I have to change modes in my room. And then we're, what we're looking at is the replacement one. And the problem is you have these very long uh, handles here. Uh, this is very long right here. And then again, swinging around to the front, we have this ratchet system here. Uh, which is pretty terrible. Um, it's been pretty terrible from the word go. Uh, so I just want to replace it. And I think these yokes are going to be the perfect thing. And let's go ahead and set this up now. Uh, we have it here. And let's go ahead and open the second one that I have here because I did hang the first one already. <laughs> and you're going to mount the handle on the right. You do get a piece for the X, which we don't have. So again, we will put that in a draw away and we'll go ahead and unscrew that. Go ahead and unscrew this right here. Now you are gonna get multiple pieces here on both sides. You're gonna get two big plastic washers and uh, a small one, uh, which actually sticks to this, but there is a small one right here. Uh, there you go, you can see the small one right there. And we're gonna put that over to the side. Let's keep the small one on and take the big ones off. And we'll just put those down. And then we're gonna take this side off. And again, you're gonna get one washer <coughs> and then a mini washer. So you get two here. And again, the mini washer is gonna go back on here. Put that over to the side. Okay, now let's install this stuff here. Now these washers are gonna go on the inside, the mini washer and the knob is gonna go on the outside. And let's go ahead and just set that up. And again, we'll set the knob up on the right here. And then we'll go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna move these down to the quarter 20s on either side here, like so. And once those are in, we're gonna turn this knob. Now they say you don't need to tighten this knob. My advice is to bring this up like this, tighten this as much as you can. And you should probably also take the uh, soft box off and everything. Tighten it as much as you can. So uh, let's go ahead and just push that up and make sure this is nice and tight. And there we go. You are not gonna have any problem moving this around now. It is gonna stay where it needs to be. So my advice is to, once you've installed it here, pull it up, make sure this is tight, and then you should be good to go. You can kind of aim it wherever you want and it's not gonna move. Uh, very cool. And let's say we wanna aim it up and then we just lock it off like so. Let's go ahead and lock this off. I actually unlocked it a little too much. 
we'll push this away. You might want to remove the, uh, <laughs> the diffusion. And there we go. As you can see, we can loosen this up. We could change the position. We can move it up like that. We could tighten this up and it's going to hold. It's not going to go anywhere. So very, 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 very cool. And again, we'll just move this down a little bit, lock it. And as you can see, not going anywhere. So it works very, very well. Okay. Now I am going to hang it this way. So I want to make sure that this knob is nice and open and that there's no screw blocking the way here. And it is. I'm going to install it. And actually, I do need to bring this down a little bit so I can clear the wall here. So we'll go ahead and get that nice and installed there. Make sure this is nice and tight and where it needs to be. And this does bend a little bit and turn a little bit. So that is good to know. So there we go. Then I'm going to feed the safety chain through this hole, through that hole, right there. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to wrap it once. Maybe I'll wrap it twice here. Then I'm going to bring this up and safety chain it. That way, if it falls, it doesn't swing too low and it doesn't hit me in the head. I would prefer it not hitting me in the head. And we just turn this little knob here and let's go ahead and plug it in first. Uh, Yep, let's plug it in and turn it on. There we go, it goes on. And there we go. We can angle this where we need it and then just lock it off. And that's it. We are pretty much good to go. But yeah, those are hanging beautifully. Uh, they're much higher. They'll be easy to stow away when I do my auditions because they're at more of an angle. Uh, my only concern is that it may cast a shadow from that tube. So I'm gonna have to lift that tube up and aim it down a little bit more uh, or mount it to the ceiling. But all in all, this looks nice and I am much, much, much happier with the yoke mounts here. I think they look fantastic, uh, very professional. Really love these. Time will tell how they hold up, but I think they're gonna be just fine. Okay, so let's talk pros and cons, and there really aren't any cons to this. Uh, this works very well. Um, I did manage to get that one not to move around, but that one sort of, when I turn the, uh, the knob, it sort of kind of moves on its own. Uh, I'm gonna just chalk that up to user error. And uh, this is actually a really great idea. I cannot believe that Aperture, one didn't include this, two didn't sell this. It had to come from ProAIM uh, USA. Uh, and actually, I've been a big fan of this company. I have a, um, and you've seen it in my videos, I have a V-mount battery that has, um, that's 250 watt V-mount battery that they stopped selling. Uh, so this was also in their clearance aisle uh, for 60 bucks. So my advice would be, um, get it while it's hot, get it while they have them. 60 bucks, you can't go wrong. If you have the three kit, I highly recommend picking up three. Get rid of <laughs> this terrible, awful aperture mount that they include. Ditch this uh, and don't go out and buy one of these monstrosities because you'll get this giant handle, which will be very difficult to deal with. Go ahead and buy the yoke, 60 bucks, can't go wrong. That's it. Those are my thoughts, but I want to know yours. So leave your questions and comments in the notes below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to mash that bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this, well, technically they're up there, is new to me.